Here's my journey through Las Vegas Summer League 2024. Kicked off with a 30 minute drive to the airport for my spirit flight. Can't beat those prices. Landed in Vegas and was greeted by airport slot machines. I ordered an Uber and then grabbed some snacks before checking into the Virgin Hotel. It was extremely close to the event. Once I checked in, I hit the gym. And to get to the gym was a journey in itself. It was pretty much on the other side of the hotel. But anyway, I got the workout in and then started day one of the summer league. So I grabbed my Uber and spotted the Chinese national team while waiting for it. But on my way, I got hungry and headed out for lunch. And I bumped into the SMG NBA agency. Great vibes, genuine people. There was something special about this agency. Before I entered the VIP section, I got some shots on the court. I met some amazing folks in VIP and somehow bumped into Rolando from SMG once again. The NBA paid tribute to Jerry West. Jerry West would always sit courtside and give players advice. Respect to the logo. The game started. I gotta say, Terrence Shannon Jr. is a monster. Another player that's a sleeper is Nix from the Timberwolves. He does a lot of intangibles that doesn't really get recorded. The gym was packed for Bronny James an electric atmosphere. I never seen so much hype for a second round pick. It felt like he was the first overall pick. I would say Reed Shepard is one of the best players in the summer league. And that was it for day one. I headed back to my hotel. Day two started with long lines, but VIP made it feel like home. Nick Smith Jr. looks like a future all-star. Watch how he takes this defender's ankles. There were a ton of celebrities spotted during this weekend, like Steve Ballmer here, Cade Cunningham, the legend himself, Greg Popovich. I stayed vibing out the entire night, and that finishes day two of the NBA Summer League. Day three was courtside seats. I met Ted, a pretty cool physician. These seats brought an amazing insight to the game. Just so much more detail that you can consume while watching it from this angle. And we saw a ton more celebs like Jawan Howard, Cam Thomas. One of the best connections on the court was the Reed to Cam connection for Houston. This dunk was electric. Best alley-oop of summer league. I also got to meet and talk with a ton more celebs and saw a ton more coaches as well. I took a break between games to spend time at the NBA Experience Lounge. Another player that impressed me was Muhammad Gay. I think he's going to be a great role player this year for the Hawks. Jordan Poole really impressed me with his humility. He spoke to everybody and he was extremely welcoming. I got a quick glimpse at Shams and Draymond Green and closed out the night with the SMG crew as they invited me to a post NBA event. It was a great initiative. Henry, Oliver, and Rolando are my new brothers. The next day, started with shopping at the Vegas outlets before heading to day four of the NBA Summer League. On average, it was 115 degrees every single day. The gym was packed again for Bronny. Mateus impressed me as one of the next top players. He definitely has the dog in him. And after watching all the games, it was time to finish the night off. Day five started with fighting, closing down Vegas. I spent time exploring Vegas. Before I continue, here are some of the top players that stood out during Summer League. I saw a random guy getting his hair cut in the middle of the street. I went to Planet Hollywood. I saw a variety of different attractions as well. I saw some random guy singing terribly in the street. I went to the Bellagio and checked out all the shopping areas. I explored all of Vegas and had over 20,000 steps when it was all said and done. The water show outside the Bellagio was also amazing. And after walking through various locations, I checked out the sphere. It was pretty cool. I definitely would recommend it for anybody visiting. Then I caught my flight back to Dallas it was an amazing time. Follow for more updates on my next journey and stay tuned.